All right, uh, let's see. Uh, all right, so there's, a, there's an elephant in the room, Michael H. claims. So let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. I hope uh, a bunch of people don't stop listening live once I answer this question. But let's do it so that it doesn't uh, you know, bother you from uh, listening to the rest of the show. This is not the topic of my show. This is, uh, this is uh, you know, uh, 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 just a, a, Michael has asked a super chat question, even though it's only $10. We'll get it out of the way quickly so that it is not, you know, bothering you. What does Yuan think about what you might say? About the fact that the Daily Wire, uh, the outfit that has uh, today uh, Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson and Matt Welsh and God, every, every religious conservative on the planet as its, um, uh, as its host uh, has just bought an option. Now notice, it, hasn't, it isn't making Atlas Shrugged, it's bought an option to buy, it's, it's a one-year option to buy the right to make Atlas Shrugged. So there are a lot of steps that have to happen between now and then. Oh, and Cook says, don't forget, clueless Candace. Yes, of course, there's Candace Owen on there as well. So there's a lot of, so just to explain this to you, they bought an option. What an option says is that uh, they, a year from now, um, will be able to buy, or, or anytime during the year, they will be able to buy at a set price the right to make the movie, but they can also walk away from it. Uh, they've paid the option price, and they can walk away with it. During that year, the rights to make the movie can't be sold to anybody else. They have the exclusive option uh, to do this. Uh, why do people uh, do this? Why do they buy an option and don't just buy the right to make the movie? Uh, basically because they want to go out, and this isn't a movie, this is a TV series. So this would be a TV series um, uh, that would be streamed. Uh, why do they buy an option and not outright just buy the right to make a movie? Because uh, the option is cheaper, significantly cheaper, and it gives them time to figure out if they can make it. Uh, do, can they find a writer? Can they find actors? Do they have the capital? Is this, is this reasonable? Is it going to make money? A, a million different things uh, involved in going from uh, saying I want to make a movie to actually uh, making it. So first... Everybody's blood pressure come down. Nothing's happened yet. Nothing's going to happen anytime soon. Maybe sometime in the next year we'll take a next step. But options on Ayn Rand's materials are sold all the time. And almost never does a movie actually get made at the end of that. So that's one issue I just want to resolve in terms of just the process here. The process, there's still a lot of money, that, a lot of time, a lot of stuff that has to happen between now and an actual TV series. Uh, second, uh, the big concern is, of course, um, well, these guys are religious conservatives. What kind of a series are they going to make? Well, probably not a very good one. Certainly not philosophical, right? Philosophically. You know, the series is likely to be a, um, uh, a, 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 a likely to focus on, and, and if you heard the CEO of the Daily Wire talk about this, this is his understanding of what the novel is about, and this is what I think they'll focus on, likely to focus on um, economic freedom, uh, divorced from any kind of philosophy, any kind of philosophical foundation, any kind of uh, philosophical uh, outlook. This will focus on uh, the, the evil of socialism, the evil of government intervention, the evil of, of, of regulations, the evil of taxes. I, you know, who knows? Uh, but, but it will focus on something like that. And the, 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 the solution to that is, quote, free markets, right? And, and the gold speech, to the extent that there is a speech, will be limited to some economic advocacy for limited government in the realm of economics, and I don't expect more than that. Um, so it's not going to be a deep movie. It's not going to be a uh, t TV series. It's not going to be a philosophical TV series, particularly philosophical. I think the heroes will be knocked down a little bit in, in the sense that it's unlikely that, um, uh, you know, that it is unlikely that uh, the heroes will be presented as uh, uh, philosophical heroes. I, I certainly don't think Reardon's whole affair 
uh, with Dagny and, and uh, his relationship with the wife is going to be presented positively. Again, these are religious conservatives, so it's unlikely. So it's, it's going to be a, a massive mixed bag. And, and if you expect a, a philosophically uh, great movie, it won't be. I do think, though, uh, that the production values will be good, that the production values will be much higher than the movies, the movies that try to stick with Ayn Rand's philosophy, but production value was so bad that who cares what the philosophy actually said. I think here the production values will be high. I think uh, Daily Wire won't do, I think this is their, they perceive this if they do it as a um, big deal, as, as their premier product uh, for their streaming channel. And therefore I think they'll invest a lot of money and they'll make this from a production values perspective. I, you know, I can't tell you if the writing is going to be good or anything like that, but the, the writing probably won't be good because they'll be conflicted between free markets and a philosophy they don't agree with. Um, it, so it will really be focused on, so it really will be high, high production value, mediocre or bad philosophically, um, and, uh, and will present a, a free market perspective. Um, you know, Ayn Rand's uh, wishes for a movie make, for a movie of Atlas Shrugged, and I think this applies to TV series, will always, that it sells the book and get it done. Um, it, 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 the quality doesn't really matter. Nobody's going to be able to do it anyway other than Ayn Rand. Just get it done. That was her perspective. Uh, good perspective, bad perspective. I don't necessarily agree with Ayn Rand, but that was her perspective. And that, I think, is the reason why this sale went through. It's, uh, it's a fulfillment of her wishes. Um, uh, in, in, in that sense. I do think that the one issue the movie makers are likely to stay away from, I hope, and I think that, that there's good reason to believe that they will, is I don't think they'll try to pretend that Ayn Rand was religious. I don't think they'll try to pretend that religion is the salvation. I think they'll stay away from that. I think they have enough integrity to stay away from that. I mean, that's a strong statement, but, it, but I, I have reason to think that. Uh, we will see. We will see. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, we'll see how that, how that plays out. But I'm, it, that is the real danger. The real danger, the two real dangers here, that the filmmakers make Ayn Rand out to be a religionist, that is the philosophy behind free markets is some form of religion, or that they make Ayn Rand out to be a libertarian. And uh, I, 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 let's hope that neither one of those two things happen. Uh, but other than that, you know, let's wait and see. I'm, I'm not, I, you know, I, I, I don't know where this goes. I, I, I doubt that they will want any kind of philosophical uh, guidance from, um, from uh, the, uh, the people at the Ayn Rand Institute or for real objectivists. Uh, you know, I, I think they're going to have a hard time finding a good writer. I think they're going to have a hard time uh, finding uh, just, just you know, people to participate in the project that would be good. I don't think money will be the problem. I think it's just talent will be the problem. Now, we will see. We will see. Maybe I, I might very well be wrong about all of that. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.